Divas and Divos, it's me, Just Landa. Okay, so I finally broke down and purchased those Sonya G brushes. Did this eye look right here? Got an update for you for the Morphe Foundation. If you like stupidness, <laughs> join Fan Bam and subscribe because <laughs> so time I'm off Morocco and because it's like 1.30 in the morning, we, we expect. <laughs> but yeah, I did buy the sky brushes. Um, yeah. So if you want to see how I got this look, how well they performed, what I think about them, because you know, I'm a Hakahudo girl, you know, I'm a Hakahudo fan, and um, babies, you know what, let's go ahead and roll that beautiful baked bean footage. Okay, so for the sake of the video, I did use my concealer from Juvia's Place. I did set it, and I do have a backdrop from Amand. Um, I just want to play and see how these brushes are going to work for me. So I'm going to use the classic crease brush. I will say I do like it. I feel like it's bundled a little too tight. Um, yeah, I'll say that it's bundled just a little bit too tight for my liking. But other than that, I think it's it's nice. Now I'm going to use the mini booster and see. Okay, so the mini booster, it reminds me of just like any smaller blending brush that comes almost to like a point, just a little bit. Um, but I was able to do almost like a defined crease. So I'm just going to blend out that harshness with the um, classic crease brush. All right, all right, not bad, not bad. Um, I'm going to use the soft shader brush and um, pick up a matte color.
so the soft the soft shader brush it is soft um again i typically don't like white hair brushes but i enjoy this it, it packs on nicely um there's no like skippage or anything so yeah i i think that's really nice i'm just gonna go back with my mini boost and just um make sure these are um blend it then I'm gonna take the flat the finer brush and just use it as an inner tear duct color brush I actually want to try this. I'm going to take the the flat mini brush, no, the flat definer brush, nice for the inner corner, really soft. I'm going to actually use a shimmer tube with the soft shader brush and just kind of pull that over some, just a little. I don't think it does well with shimmers. Oh. Nice. Nice soft shader brush. Picks up um, mattes and can pick up a shimmer. That's all I want. So um, let me put the base and stuff back on let me put on my base talk Yolanda put on your base and come back and we'll finish the lower lash and we can talk about these brushes I'm going to take the jumbo blender brush and put that underneath my brow Ooh. oh 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 So they said this is like an eraser. I like this brush. I don't have anything like it. It does remind me something of the MAC. I can't think of it right now, but I do like it. Um, I think I can blend out a lot of stuff using this brush to make stuff softer. And I like that. That's much better. might be a fave hmm I'm gonna go back in with the mini booster and just go underneath my lower lash line I want to go back in with that jumbo blender brush. I like this brush. And I'm going to go back in the flat definer brush. Okay, so let me throw on my face and stuff and come back and we can talk about it. All right, beavers and devos, this is the finished look on my face foundation. I do have on Makeup by Shayla collaboration with Morphe and the color that I'm using is color Rich 28. Um, for concealer, I am using um, 
Uma Beauty woke in the color T1 Brown Sugar. And then I also used a dab of 16 from Juvia's Place. For blusher, I actually used um, a blusher from Juvia's Place. And it is Abby and Neo. And then I also contoured using the Double Date from Lip Bar. The highlighter it is from Uma Beauty. It is Notting Hill. The lashes are from Pretty Glam. The lip liner it is Pat McGrath. Deep Void. Yep, Deep Void. And the lipstick of choice is. Gosh, you would have thought I had all this stuff together. Profits from Proper Beauty, and then I topped it off with Juvia's Place um, Bailey Their Lip Gloss. And uh, yeah, okay. I'm really happy with what I bought. I like the brushes, um, I like them way more than I like the rougher brushes. The rougher brushes do not compare to these Sonia G brushes. I had to think of who she was. Um, yeah, they do not compare. Um, the only one that I, it's not that I have trouble with, but the one that, I mean, it's like, okay. It is the classic crease brush. So, I mean, I feel like it should be a little bit more loose. I think like it's, bundled up too tight to do what I want to do but the jumbo blender it is truly like an eraser like it helped blend everything all together seamlessly and I'm like go check go that, that's all I can say go check go my boob is hanging out y'all can't see it um yeah, at first I wasn't feeling on base because, I don't know, I was just having some type of qualm with it, but then everything started coming together. It doesn't itch or irritate as much Cyber, um, a Morphe collaboration. So I thought it was breaking my face out. It could have been that it was that time of the month and I had just started. So that could have been like um, a little bit about it. Um, I still don't see like a healthy glow. Like this healthy glow stuff that they're talking about. Like I don't see no healthy glow. Like I don't see no healthy glow. It's. I will say I did do my buffing technique. Even though I still don't see no healthy glow. Um, yeah, buffing technique. Um, Amon powder. But even if that. Is this supposed to be hydrating and all this other stuff that is presenting? Then that wouldn't happen. Like, like it's not a mat. I, I will say it's like a soft mat. I will definitely say it's soft mat. I can't really say if it's full coverage or not because I have on my contour and stuff. Because I don't see my mirror. I have like a mirror right there. And I don't see it. So I can't really say that for sure. But, divas. I hear the hype in it. I won't be buying. The only one that I might buy a duplicate of is the Jumbo Blender brush. I think I like fell in love with this brush when I put this underneath my brow and then I just blended it all together. Say word. I was like, okay, okay, okay. Oh, also, I did try the Juvia's Place um, setting powder for underneath my eye. I don't like it. I'm going to try to use it with the Juvia's Place concealer. It's a no. I'm just saying no. And that's what, I think that's what was throwing me off too, that, that setting powder. Yeah. 
So on that note, thieves and divos, I hope you enjoy this late review. Like everyone has these brushes, and I was like, I don't really need these brushes. Like I mean, it's no different from what I uh, what I have. I like my Hakuto brushes, but these are really good. Um, Four hundred and sixty fifty bucks. I mean, they are Japanese brushes. I will. <laughs> Time is hard, and my bank account is like no. And my husband's like, so yeah. On that note, views and videos. If you have subscribed, subscribe. Join the fam, bam. Love it. And um, thanks for watching, rating, subscribing, all that good jazz that you feel so but peach and fuzzy inside. Peace and peace. Bye. Thank you.